Hello, Lord. All praise and honor and glory and power goes to you forever and ever. I love you. What's on your heart? Jesus began, My precious one, all of heaven stands behind you as you do your Lord's Supper. It has a great impact. It is a time to celebrate my love for you because I made it possible for you to have me. I truly am present in the Holy Eucharist, giving forth my graces upon you and all those around you. I give my whole self to you, all of who I am, when you partake in my supper. It is quite a mystery to those who do not understand. It is not easily fathomed to the carnal mind. You guys, what Jesus is saying here is that some truly do not believe that he is in the blessed sacrament. I know of a friend who don't believe and says that you can't really eat Jesus' body and drink his blood. Jesus said in John chapter 6 verse 55, that his body is true food and his blood is true drink. It is a spiritual action taking place as we speak in the bread and wine. Because the words of Jesus, spoken, are spirit and life. When you say the words of God with faith, things happen and he remembers his promises. Also, Jesus said, you can say to this mountain, be thrown into the sea and it will be done for you and that you should have faith. How much more if we declare from the words of Jesus spoken at the Last Supper to his disciples that it will be transformed to his body and blood through the eyes of faith. Jesus continued, I am bringing you forth as a priest to show who I am to others as well as partaking in my supper. It is readily available to you in your greatest need to replenish you to do my will. You are strengthened mightily by this to overcome your weaknesses. I myself carry the DNA of the Father that will in turn bring you much peace and consolation. You only to have faith and believe that in all things I make them possible. This act of obedience brings much glory that will bring much people into my kingdom because of its many graces that go out. I want to bring renewed faith to my people that have doubted me in the Eucharist, reminding them that I am He and very much present with you in this sacrament. Only believe and trust. As you have known, my beloved one, many will not believe and thus miss out on many things that will bring them much life. It is not for you to judge, but for you to pray for them that they will come to the knowledge of the truth. I want all men to be drawn to me. I am stirring hearts. Be not moved by criticism concerning your priesthood, for it was I that selected you to fulfill my purpose. You are walking in great authority that will bring me much glory. I will minister to people and bring them great clarity as you speak the truth to them, giving them the opportunity to serve me. Be diligent in what you do to supply the needs of others. Never look down on others. Raise them up high than yourself in all honor because they are your fellow servants in the duty of the Lord. Rest assured in my providence over you. I love you dearly. And that was the end of the message. See you in the next video.